We start our breakdown of looking at nations' missions with England, the nation that is, of course, the title of this update, the 125 England update. So, starting off, they have the mission to levy the troops to bring their army up to its force limit and have plenty of manpower, as well as a general, which, of course, they start out with. They do have the Hundred Years' War to deal with, after all. And this will give them the claims and Cassus belly to conquer Ireland and conquer Scotland, so, in a way, to consolidate the island here. They also have a branch for their maritime empire, where they have to have plenty of ports and a huge navy, which will then take them down the path to secure Gibraltar, and then increasing their reach by taking the Beleris. Now these, of course, will give effects as well as often permanent claims on the missions that then follow. They can secure themselves as a Mediterranean authority if they secure certain islands around here, Malta, Crete, and Cyprus. Of course, the Increase Our Reach mission also branches off into seizing Alexandria, which they can do if they've fulfilled the English Empire. So let's roll back a bit and look at this. They must first deal with the War of the Roses, so they're going to have to either reach the Age of Reformation without triggering it, or trigger the War of the Roses and come out of it unscathed. They'll get, of course, their Royal Line modifier, giving legitimacy and reduced aggressive expansion impact. Very useful for early game England. Following that, they, of course, have to control their state religion, which means they're no longer in Age of Discovery, and they've dealt with the War of the Roses. So they either have to have embraced the Counter-Reformation or gone away from Catholicism. The English Empire mission requires them to reach Empire rank, so they're going to have to get 1,000 development. And then between the increase of reach in the English Empire, they're going to go down to seizing Alexandria and, of course, becoming Egyptian authority, securing their destiny. Final branch that we have here at the very top is the Hundred Years' War. And this is going to be fulfilled when they reach war with France, which, of course, is often triggered through the main event. That is to say, the event about the province of Maine. Following down, they've got the Strategic Control Mission, which is going to be fulfilled if they actually manage to gain control of Paris and its area, giving them the Force Union CB on France, as well as claims on the Brittany area, so they can then go on to conquer Brittany and gain the lands for the Angevin Empire. There is, of course, also the mission to subjugate France. If you manage to succeed in beating France black and blue and forcing the Union on them, that is, of course, going to succeed. You get a nice lump sum of prestige and victor concessions, manpower, recovery speed, as well as harsh treatment cost. And then finally, something from all this branching is the seizure, uh, the seizure of Burgundy. So if you manage to grab that, then you get some royal welcomes in the area. Of course, the English mission tree is one with many branches. If we go down, there is a colonial path for discovering and settling in the Americas, America, Caribbean, and of course the 13 colonies, and one that takes them over to India, also for charting the southern seas and taking over the Spice Islands. Finally, we reach further down, and they have the mission to monopolize the channel, controlling the Hansa and the Hanseatic East. So if they want uh, to go down this path, they're going to come into conflicts with Lubeck. Finally, economical missions down at the bottom here to renovate Oxbridge by uh, building up the university buildings in both Oxford and Cambridge, as well as building manufactories that give some very healthy development bonuses in the relevant areas. And of course, industrial revolution. This is, uh, of course, useful for the coal that has been added to the game. So if you build up furnaces in provinces with coal, you're again going to build up the island something proper. So the English tree is already pretty beastly in its own right, but uh, what if we get rid of the problem with Scotland? Let's also give ourselves some good old technology and form the British nation. Wonderful. Well, what happens there is our already pretty beastly mission tree gets fleshed out even further. The Conquer Scotland mission now branches off into taking the North Sea Islands and, of course, settling the North. As we go further down, this now also unlocks the mission for colonizing Canada and becoming Great Britain Ascendant. You see, the Angevin Empire mission tree doesn't stop there. You can then go on to controlling the electors and either becoming or dismantling the HRE. Our uh, colonial missions also get fleshed out there, so naturally in the 123 England update, 
England and Great Britain sees a lot of love in their new mission system. Let's go and take a look at some of the other countries that get their own mission trees here. <laughs> 